Folks, welcome to today's Big Buck Profile brought to you by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. I'm here at the Wonders of Wildlife Museum in Springfield, Missouri at Bass Pro Shops. We're celebrating North American Whitetail's 40th anniversary in 2022 with some of the best whitetails that have ever been taken from across the continent, including the Joe Waters buck taken in 1987 in the Topeka area of Kansas in Shawnee County. You know, they say new hunters have all the luck, and that was certainly the case with the Joe Waters buck. Joe had hunted hard all season trying to take his first ever deer. He finally had a nice shot opportunity at a mature doe, and he wanted to shoot a buck, so he passed the doe, and the next deer he saw was this 280 and 4 eighths, 29.9 typical, that went on to become the Kansas state record. And I tell you, when you hear the score 280, really 29 points is not that many for a buck of that caliber. But when you look at the rack, you quickly understand why the score is that high. And it's because every abnormal on this buck's rack is crazy long. Starting with the brow tines, there's double rows of brow tines that are insanely long, as well as these flyers coming off the front here, almost like drop tines that are going forward. There's multiple on the left. Again, two here on the right side. And the buck is extremely well known for this cluster of drop tines that are dropping off of the right G2. There's three of them. They look a lot like a turkey foot, and in many parts of Kansas, this is still known as the turkey foot buck. Really an incredible whitetail from Shawnee County taken in 1987.